Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If anyone's new here, I'm Sean Mokram, currently pursuing my Masters in Mechanical Engineering at Clemson University. In this video, I'm going to tell you if you need a portfolio website to apply for Masters or uh, is it an advantage to have a portfolio website while you're applying to Masters and by if any chance you get convinced that you need a portfolio website after hearing to me, then I'll also show you how to build one in this video. So coming to the first question, is it mandatory to have a portfolio website? I would say no. Most of the universities uh, does not even ask for a portfolio website exclusively. Maybe some some program or some department requirements might be there where uh, uh, you need to show your portfolio or you need to show your work in order for them to assess you uh, like what work you actually done. Like programs like arts or programs like architecture majorly require portfolio. But in my opinion, I would say whichever department, whichever uh, degree you're applying for, I would say it's always an advantage to have a portfolio because while you're applying for masters, you will be only submitting transcripts, resume and statement of purpose, which are academically related. And in transcripts, you cannot uh, show your projects, probably your courses might be there. And in resume and statement of purpose, you cannot give a detailed description of what project you have done or what a design you worked on, but uh, you can only give them an overview. So I would say, Keep resume and statement of purpose, keep them the way they are, just give an overview of the project, but attach a link of your portfolio website under that project as a reference or in your resume so that uh, if by any chance the professor uh, finds your project interesting, he can just click on that link and he can see the details, what you've actually done apart from your overview or your abstract of the project. So. Even yeah, even I had one portfolio website while while I was applying for the masters. I'll show you that, and I'll also tell you how to build a portfolio website like uh, without coding. If you are from a non-computer science background, just like me, I mean, there's a high chance that you might not be knowing coding. So uh, I found a source where uh, you can build a website just by using uh, the templates which are available without coding. So without any due, let's get started. So first I'll show you the website which I had while I was applying to the masters. So this was the website I had. So it's pretty much simple. Basically my name, picture, my elevator pitch, my extracurricular activities. And in second page, I had a link which is connected to my resume. So if you click on that link, my resume will be open. And then the third page, I had my projects in which like if you click on one of the projects, it just opens the files videos, project report, design files and all that stuff. And in the last page, it's just contact where my email and LinkedIn was provided. So this was pretty much a basic website, which I had while uh, I was applying to the masters. But uh, now uh, I felt like I should upgrade my website because uh, I, I was no longer able to edit my previous website because uh, it was hosted in GitHub. So the token in the GitHub got expired. So I was not able to edit it. So I thought, okay, it's okay. Anyway, I'll build a new website. So just go to Google and type Wix. So you can open, it's basically Wix is a free website uh, builder. So you just click on get started uh, after you go to the website and give the login credentials. And uh, once you log in, click on get started and then it asks like what kind of website are you creating click on portfolio and next and uh, enter your website name what will you I would say my portfolio next so uh, it asks what do you want to add your website. Uh, I would say just skip that part or you can search for, no, I would say just skip the part. Any of you got the templates in the coming steps. So have you created a website before? I would say this is my first time. And it says, area create a website for you or choose a template. So uh, I think you need to pay if you let the Wix ADI create a website for you. So to just click on choose a template. Uh, there are multiple templates you can choose from. So I would say just uh, go with the simple one. Mm. Let me see. Yeah, I would say this. So edit it. Click on the edit. 
and Wix, Wix uh, website has its own editor where you can edit their templates and change it to your website and it's pretty slow actually. Yeah, so once you once you go into the Wix editor, so this is how it looks. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the basic uh, editing which you need to know and the rest you can just know by uh, getting familiarized with this website. So first, you need to know pages. So it has manufacturing, unknown lad, chill pill, absolute value. It has some number of pages. So the page, what page means is like if you want to, the, there's a menu here. So let's go to the preview. And if you click on any of these, so it needs to go to that page. So go back to the editor and these are the uh, pages in this template. Let's say uh, your, the template you selected are only two pages and you need to add one page to it. You can click on add and you can add a page. So it, it has page templates from which like if you want to add this page, this template has this page. This, this page has this template so you can add that and it, it just comes like this and you just add that page name as page extra. You can add that way. So this is how a page will be added and let's say let's go to the home and let's say you want to edit it. So you want your name here, you can write, just you can click on it and click on edit text and you can write near your name. And you can even change the theme, font, size, everything about it. And if you, let's say, uh, if you want to change picture, you can click on this and you can click on change image. You can either browse from the Google, like you can directly give a site or you can upload media from your computer, upload from computer then this pops out and you can do that that is one way let's say you don't have image format on your website let's say let's go to the another page let's see uh, let's go to this page let's say it's only six images and you need to add another image you can directly go to this media option and you can click on upload your media and you can directly add one picture from your computer and you can drag on it so you can place it wherever you want Oh, so this is how the pages are added and you can even add apps like if you want to add a certain app like Premiere Pro or something just like to the page you can add from this you can add app add an application and let's say you need to add a button let's say the description says I'm a YouTuber I'm a YouTuber that I am and uh, Let's say you wanted to add your YouTube channel link or let's say this is project or you wanted to add a project link. You can just go on add. You can add a button. So you can select, let's say I want this button. This is the button. I want to keep it here. Again, you know how to change text, right? So let's say my YouTube channel link. And you want it such a way that if if any person is uh, seeing your website and if he clicks on this button, he needs to get directed to the YouTube or uh, your YouTube channel. Then here there is an option called link. So here, like you can link a page, you can li link a web address, you can link a document. So I would say a web address because I have a YouTube channel. Let's say I pasted my YouTube channel, something like that. So your button has been created. So just go to the preview. So there is a button, if you click on this, your YouTube channel link opens. So this is how it works. Let's say you want you want to add your resume, then you can click. You can just link and instead of web address, you can link a document, choose file and just upload your uh, resume, just like how I showed you to upload your media, your pictures and videos. And that's how I think this, these are the basic tools which you should know and the rest you can s sort out, you, you can you can figure out once you start using this website. So actually I built one uh, in the Wix, I'll show you my website. Uh, I built a pretty simple one so that, uh, so I was building this so that I can apply for internships and all. So you need to go to this. It's, it's slow. Wix editor is slow or my internet. I don't know. So yeah, this was, this is the website I built. I did not host it yet. I need to make some changes. So 
I wanted pretty simple one home projects, extracurricular activities, contact a bit about me. I may I created four buttons so that if anyone clicks on project, they go to the project page, resume, resume, my YouTube channel, my contact. So let, let's go to the preview and let's see. So let's click on resume. My resume got open. And let's click on YouTube button. My YouTube channel got op got opened. And contact. So I at this time I've given my uh, like email, my phone number, and also uh, like uh, this button where if people type their message, it comes to my email. So even you can add this in the website. And let's go to my project. So. This time, I projects I added you know, by giving them serial numbers. This is my project one. This is my project two. And again, going coming to the extracurricular activities. So this is like my about my YouTube channel that I have a YouTube channel and all, and then sports, and then uh, that I've participated in match past and all that. So that's it. This is pretty good website according to me. I mean, it's 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 enough. It's functional. It serves the purpose what I need for. So and like when you're done by uh, with the editing of your website, when you when you think you are ready, just go to the preview and check if your website is uh, perfect or not. And if you think it's ready to publish, click on save. You can see like your uh, website link. And the problem with Wix is uh, it comes with its name. So it comes with HTTPS, your email, which you've used to login dot Wix site dot com slash the name you give it to the website. So I gave it as my portfolio. You can edit that last part actually. So if you want, if you don't want this website.com to be in your uh, website link, you have to pay pay them depending on the template you use. I would suggest uh, it, it on, honestly, it does not matter what it is written in your link unless until it's uh, inappropriate. I mean, if Wix site, I don't think that's inappropriate and that is fine. It's fine to have that in website. Do not pay it if you're a student who are, who are building your portfolio to apply for your masters. So that's it. And you can just publish, uh, click on publish to get your site published and you can see your website in Google. So that's it guys. I just wanted to share this uh, thing of how to create a website because I was creating one website recently for my portfolio as my old website got expired i mean it's github token got expired so i cannot i have no longer access to it so i was creating the new one and i got this idea okay i can share this to students who are applying for their masters and if they need a portfolio so that's it and if anyone creates a website by watching this video i would request you to comment down below your website link so that i can see i can see what style you've used or what templates you've used so that's it. I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.